Hi. Since it's been so long since I've really spent time with my computer, you know, talking one-on-one -on -one as we are, I felt like I needed a plan of action to get back into the swing of things, as we say. I was doing this thing on my written blog earlier this year where I would go through all the letters of the alphabet and then pick something for each letter and just list a couple of things that I liked beginning with each letter and then just write a blog about the thing that I wanted to talk about. It worked out pretty well and I got to H and then I decided, hmm, this isn't a bad video idea. And here we are! I figured the best place to begin this adventure into the alphabet of amazing would be with the letter A! It kind of looks like an A. How do you make an A? That's more of an A than anything else I've done. Looks like I'm like an old lady. Things I like that begin with A. Apples, Anna Sui, Annie Hall, Alan Keys, Alan Ginsberg, Adam and the Ants, Avenue Q, American Pie, American Beauty, American Splendor, Angela Chase, Amy Winfrey, Amaretto, Air, Arcade Fire, Architecture, Arrested Development, Adam Buxton, Alice in Wonderland, Abigail Lorick, Al Green, Au revoir, Simone. But the thing that I want to talk about today is the ampersand. Now I know Marina Hot for Words already did a video explaining what ampersand means. I'll reiterate for the few of you that missed it. The ampersand is the thing on your keyboard. It's on Shift 7. I don't know if it's there for you. Hopefully it is. Unfortunately, my print is not working today. But I do have an artist's rendering of what an ampersand looks like. Most of you are probably familiar with this symbol as the and sign. The origin of the word ampersand comes from the phrase and per se and, which is just kind of a long way of just saying and. It's a kind of a long way to say a three letter word, so a symbol seems like the best way to go about shortening it. It's a signifier, or technically a ligature, of the word et, which means and in Latin and French and like a million other languages. So you can see, if you take away the top bit, it kind of looks like an E. Take away that. Looks like a T. So it's a really cool piece of punctuation when you break it down. In the past couple of years I got really obsessed with typography and sort of the the graphic nature of letters and um, letterpress. It was always between the ampersand and the interrobang as to what was my favourite piece of punctuation. I kind of like that it signifies more, that there's something else to be added. And they're also different and interesting and you can have like different pretty like details and stuff and ampersands and it's really cool. My favourite ampersand might be considered boring. It's Helvetica New. If you've seen the film Helvetica you'll probably realise that Helvetica is your favourite font. It's definitely one of the geekiest and most extreme things I've ever done to express my appreciation of punctuation but the idea of sort of an abundance of good things is something that's been on my mind for the past year. If you're always looking for something interesting or something good, then you're not focusing on anything that worries you or concerns you, which is a better way to live in my opinion. Take of it what you will. Today's letter is A, and today's word is ampersand. I don't know how frequently I'll do these, but I do miss vlogging and it's nice to have some sort of a guideline for doing it rather than just freestyling because then you don't know what's going to pop out. You don't know. You don't know what's gonna pop out. All I can really say is, hello. How are you? I'm sorry I left the lights on.